I want you to notice something. Of course, i to the first power is i. How much is i to the second power? Okay, I'm glad one person knows that. How much is i to the third power? And i to the fourth power? And i to the fifth power? Here's what we're going to look at. Check it out. i to the third power, do you believe me I can write that as i squared times i? Yep. How much is i squared? This is really negative 1 times i. Negative 1 times i is negative i. You follow? Yeah. Check out i to the fourth. i to the fourth is i squared times i squared. Is it not? Mm -hmm. How much is i squared, folks? I. No, i squared is not i. <laughs> i squared is negative 1. This is negative 1 <laughs> times negative. How much is negative 1 times negative 1? Weird. I, well, I is I. I squared is negative 1. I to the cube is negative I. I to the fourth is 1. How much is I to the fifth? I want you to check this out, okay? This is I to the fourth times I. Do you follow that? Mm -hmm. I to the fourth was 1. Negative 1. I is I. This is I. 1 times I is I. What just happened? I have no idea. What just happened? It went around in a circle. You keep doing it back. It's cyclical. It's going to go back. This is a little bit of number theory I'm teaching right here. Guess how much i to the sixth is going to be? i to the fifth. No, negative one. How much is i to the seventh? How much i to the eighth? How much i to the ninth? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is what you're going to do with your eyes. If you want to figure out how much i to the... Just listen. If you want to figure out how much i to the 50th power is, you want to do this 50 times? No. no. <laughs> Divide 50 by 4 for me right now and find the remainder. Do it. Did you get two? This remainder. Says i to the 50th is equal to i squared. The remainder tells you where you're at. So you divide your power by 4, because you have four, 4 in your cycle. The remainder says I'm equal to i to that power. So you just look back at your table. I know i squared is negative 1. Oops. Therefore, i to the 50th is equal to negative 1. Take your power, divide by 4, find the remainder. Hey, by the way, if the remainder is zero, I to the twelfth, divide that by four. It goes in three times, you get a remainder of zero. True? Yeah. How much is I to the zero power? How much is anything to the zero power? Zero. zero. No, it's one. Oh. <laughs> trick question. No, it's not a trick question. Anything to zero power is one. No matter what. Divide the power by four, take your remainder, it's I to that power. There's only four choices. You have one through four or zero. You have five choices then. Does this make sense to you? Okay. Check it out again on the video if you're a little bit lost. Also with those negatives, make sure you put one over that negative power as a positive. Remember, you, you can do that.